and welcome back to Bedtime Storytime with Jen from the Blue Mountains Public Library. Happy Wednesday and thank you so much for joining me for a story this evening. Tonight we're going to be reading a special story. It's, it's kind of like a fairy tale and it's probably one of my top 10 favorite picture books. It's called Moon Man. But before we get to our story, we're gonna get our clapping hands and our waving hands ready because we're gonna sing our hello song. Are we ready to go? Okay, friends, let's count. One, two, three. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you stretch up high? Can you touch your nose? Can you shout hooray? Can you wave hello? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you stretch up high? Can you touch your nose? Can you shout hooray? <laughs> Can you wave hello? Hello, friends. All right. So you guys, Run, grab a blanket, grab a stuffy if you like, get cozy, because we're about to get started. All right, my friends, Moon Man. On clear, starry nights, the Moon Man can be seen curled up in his shimmering seat in space. There he is. Every night from his drifting sphere, the moon man was filled with envy as he watched the earth's people dance. If only I could join the fun, he thought. Life up here is such a bore. He looks a little sad. He wants to sing and he wants to dance. Who wouldn't want to do that? It's so much fun. One night, a shooting star flashes by. The Moo Man leapt just in time to catch the fiery tail of the comet. <gasps> there he goes. He's left the moon and he's on his way. The night creatures of the woods fled in terror at the loud crash of the fallen star. <gasps> crash. The pictures in the story are just amazing too. So another reason why it's one of my favorites. The noise brought hundreds of people from a nearby town. Soldiers sped to defend the earth. Firemen hastened to quench the flaming lights. And the ice cream man hurried to set up his stand for all of the spectators. So we have the soldiers, the firemen, police, the spectators, and the ice cream man. Of course. When they reached the site of the crash, no one can decide what the pale, soft creature lying in the crater could be. But we kind of know, don't we? It's the man on the moon. Government officials were alerted. Statesmen, scientists, and generals panicked. They call the mysterious visitor an invader. The moon man was thrown in jail while a special court conducted a criminal investigation. Poor moon man, his hopes of dancing among the merry crowds and bright lanterns while they were just crushed. Poor guy, look at him. Moon Man is quite sad, sitting in his little prison cell.
One night, as the moon man sat wondering why he was so cruelly treated, he noticed that his left side had faded. Why, I must be in my third quarter, he thought so happily. Every night, as the moon grew thinner and thinner, so did the moon man, until at last he was able to squeeze through the bars of his window. So the moon's going through the phases, and because he's a part of the moon, he's going through the phases of the moon with it. Pretty neat. When he, the head of the armed forces paid a visit to inspect the weird captive, he found the cell empty. The general was furious. Days later, as the moon reappeared in its first quarter, a quarter of the moon man had come back. Two weeks later, he reached his full size again. So when the moon reaches its full size, do you guys remember? Do you know what that's called? When the moon is a complete and perfect circle in the sky, it's the full moon. Delighted with his freedom, he wandered about discovering the sweet smelling flowers, the splendid birds and the butterflies. And he does look quite happy. Look at how beautiful and colorful the things that he's, he's getting to see is. He came upon a garden party where people in gorgeous costumes were dancing. Look, someone has come dressed up as the man in the moon. The moon man danced blissfully for hours. Alas, a grumpy killjoy complained of the late music to the police. Scared by the sight of the guns and the uniforms, the moon man dashed off to the nearby woods, but he was spotted by the policeman and a wild chase had begun. White the adventures. Swiftly outracing the police, the moon man shot across the countryside. In a lonely place, he came upon an ancient castle. There, he was welcomed by long forgotten scientist, Dr. Bunsen Vander Dunkel. <laughs> For centuries, he had been perfecting a spacecraft to reach the moon. And there he is, Dr. Bunsen Vander Dunkel. Now finished, the intricate machine rested on its launch pad in a castle turret. Dr. Vander Dunkel had grown too old and too fat to fit into the capsule. He asked his guest to be his first passenger. The Moon Man, who had realized that he could never live peacefully on this planet, finally agreed to go. How sad. Dr. Vanderdunkel decided to wait for the moon to enter its third quarter. By then, the Moon Man will have grown small enough to fit in the capsule, he thought. A few nights later, the Moon Man took leave of his benefactor. With tears in their eyes, they bade each other farewell. Then the moon man blasted off with a roar of rockets. And there he goes, taking off into outer space. Having succeeded in the launching of his spacecraft, Dr. Vanderdunkel at last received the recognition he had so long deserved. He was elected chairman of an important scientific committee. And having satisfied his curiosity, the moon man never returned to earth and remained ever after curled up in his shimmering seat in space. Forever the moon man, and there he is. And that my friends is the end of Moon Man. I hope you really enjoyed that story. It is, or it was, I should say, 
one of our very favorites at home to read before bed. So speaking of bed, before we say goodnight, we're going to have our stretch. Oh, our big yawn. Oh, la, 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 la. And our song, good night. Good night, friends. Good night, friends. Good night, friends. It's time to say good night. Good night, my friends. See you next week. Bye.